Let me just start off by saying my vida loca, mi vida loca, I don't even want to get the word wrong. Mi vida loca is a very, very, very authentic movie. Now, I know a lot of reviews said that they took regular people and put them in acting roles and it just wasn't authentic. Listen, I'm from Immokalee, Florida. Google Immokalee, Florida. I-M-M-O-K-A-L-E-E. -E. The town I'm from is highly populated with Mexican people. The town I'm from had gangs. They had... This movie, to me, was authentic as going into any restaurant and getting the most authentic tacos where the people making your tacos don't even speak. That's the kind of movie you want. I don't want a movie where Holly Berry plays a Mexican gang member. I don't want a movie where Leonardo DiCaprio plays a Mexican gang member. I want a movie where a Mexican man or a Mexican woman play a Mexican gang member and keep it authentic just like that. Mi vida loca? Mi vida loca? Let me... Let me tell y'all something. When they gave them kids those nicknames, sad girl, giggles, la blue eyes, that, you know how real that is, man? Only problem is, what would they call me? El Gordo Negro. El Gordo Moyo. El Gordo Negro Moyito. I, I wouldn't want a, a name like that. Mi Vida Loco is about, a, it's, it's different. It's about a bunch of females and gang members, and they going through real-life situations. Like, this girl and this girl, they best friends, but then they find out that this girl had a baby from this girl, baby daddy, and now they beefing, and now they want to kill each other. Bro, did I tell you about the bangs on the girls? This, you can tell this movie made in the 90s, because they bangs came down to their nose. That's how Mexican women wore it. They had the big bangs. They had the lipstick. They had the lip liner around the lipstick. They had the chongo or chonglo on their rip dog. This is the most authentic Mexican movie I've watched. Now, is it as violent as Blood In, Blood Out? No. Is it as violent as My American Me? No. But do we got one of the saddest scenes when, when, the, when the, um, the little girl gets shot, they, they go to shoot somebody, but then they end up killing the child? Bitch, I, it, 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 it had me choked up like in La Bamba when he was coming on top of that mountain. He was like, Richie! It had me emotional like that. Mi vida loca, if you want to see what being, how tough it is to be a Mexican woman growing up in a very tough environment dominated by men, I definitely suggest you watch this movie. All the Mexican girls in here fine. All the, I think they call cholas. I want me a chola now. I want me a chick that'll say, I'll stab your ass, Josh. Don't, don't play with me, Josh. But it was one chick, right? She got out of prison because she had went and did four years for her dude. And she got out and she wanted to chase computer life. She wanted to be like a computer professional. I don't know how real that is. But shots out to that girl for riding for your man. You really than Takashi right now. That's the thing about Mexican chicks. They gonna ride for their dude. They gonna ride for their essays, man. But Mi Vida Loca told a very good story about women and gang violence and holding it down for their men and how they're going to ride for their dudes. It, this movie really is not blood and blood out. It's just very, very real about Mexican culture. And whoever hate no Mexican culture, I would throw gang signs up, but I ain't trying to get shot by nobody. So I'm just going to say, y'all need to stay out, y'all. Stay out the business. Y'all know the hell you talking about. Mi Vida Loca. American me, blood in, blood out. Then my Vida Loca. I'm, I'm pretty much, I'm done with the with the Hispanic gang movies though, cause I'm, I'm gonna tie some things around my neck and throw up some things that's gonna get me and my kids shot. So I'm gonna stop right there. Maybe it'll look.